clearly for us, an event like this is very significant. All of us had a huge amount of respect for General McChrystal. Uh, his, his charisma, uh, the way that he had really invigorated the plan here, had all of us absolutely working for him as a very devoted team. But this is much more about the man. This is about the mission. And we all know that. And there is a group of people in Afghanistan who are completely committed to the NATO mission. And we will not miss a beat. I can absolutely assure you that nothing will change. Uh, we will continue to do our job as we did it before. And now our emphasis will be on making sure that when General Petraeus gets here, he has a perfect platform on which to continue with his work. Nobody expected this to happen. Uh, we wouldn't have planned it or chosen it. But it makes no difference. What we're doing continues yesterday, today, tomorrow. There isn't any change. So I think we want to be really careful about not taking, making too much of something, which is very sad. Uh, we all regret it, but nothing here has changed at all. We continue with our mission. Our responsibility here is to make sure that we continue to operate with complete effectiveness and efficiency. Because out there in the country, there are young men and women who are putting their lives at risk every day. It is our duty to ensure that the mission is successful. And therefore, a sad and an unexpected event like this will make no difference to the efficiency of the way that we conduct the operation. Well, the first thing I should say is uh, Stan McChrystal is one of the finest men I've ever known. He's a good friend, and he was an outstanding military commander here in Afghanistan. He was a pivotal architect of the strategy that we're pursuing here, comprehensive strategy to regain the initiative against the insurgency, resolve the political tensions that fuel it, uh, and to transition responsibility to the Afghans and build their capabilities so that they can take more control um, of their own country. That strategy remains the basis of the campaign, and the campaign remains on course. Um, none of us wanted uh, Stan McChrystal to depart in the circumstances that happened, but uh, that decision has been uh, taken, and President Obama explained the reasons for it yesterday. And he, in his appointment of uh, General David Petraeus to take over, he's appointed one of the finest soldiers in the world, a man of vast experience, uh, who knows the region well, um, who knows Afghanistan, who has the relationships already, and who is the right man to uh, lead the force to face the challenges ahead. Um, I haven't spoken to President Karzai myself, although I know President Obama telephoned him immediately um, after the announcement yesterday and, and other foreign leaders uh, have been in touch with him. I would expect to talk this over with him in the next day or so. He had a good relationship with General McChrystal. General McChrystal and I see President Karzai two or three times a week. Um, and of course, he also knows General Petraeus, who has been here many times as the CENTCOM commander. He knows the region and has relationships not only in Afghanistan, but with other countries too. And those relationships will be very important in the year to come. President Karzai's already expressed his confidence in General Petraeus, and I'm sure he will build the same kind of relationship using his own personality and his own personal style uh, that his predecessor had with the president.